Sengkumpulan penyelidik dari Universiti Sains Malaysia USM menemui selaras meriam dan motak ketika melakukan kerja-kerja pengorekan pada struktur pertahanan luar dan terusan yang mengelilingi kota Cornwallis itu Jumaat lalu. Pengarah Pusat Penyelidikan Arkeologi Global University Sains Malaysia USM, Profesor Datuk Dr. Mota Saidin, penemuan itu sekaligus bakal melengkapkan data sejarah awal mengenai kota lama yang terletak di bandar raya Georgetown. Menurut Dr. Mokhtar, meriam dan motar yang ditemui 12 penyelidik itu dipercayai berusia lebih 200 tahun. Berdasarkan rekod sejarah awal Pulau Pinang, terdapat lebih 100 meriam dan kira-kira 10 motar masih tertanam bawah tanah di tapak Fort Cornwallis. And we start just end of last year. Start in front there, then uh, we found the cannons. And only last Friday, we exposed hmm. and lucky to it. Last Friday we found two and one is mota. And mota is very important because recorded less than 10 mota. And this the first time in, we found. in Kamalis in, in Fort Kamalis. In Fort Kamalis totally more than hundreds cannons. And 14 is up there. One four. Where are the others? Uh, e and O. E and O bought four. Four cannons from maybe from here. And one mota. So these findings this mota is very important. So while we excavate, still under study in term of the age, in term of why they buried them, why they buried them, still under study. So we will excavate throughout this area. Maybe more and more coming, more and more data. So we will complete the story about the Fort Cornwallis. Meriam dan Mota yang ditemui itu kemudiannya dihantar ke USM bagi tujuan analisis. Mengulas lanjut, Dr. Mota berkata USM sudah mendapat geran RM49,000 daripada Kerajaan Negeri Pulau Pinang bagi menjalankan kerja-kerja pengorekan di tapak itu selama setahun. Ujarnya kerja-kerja pengorekan tanah bermula sejak hujung tahun lalu dan ianya akan diteruskan sehingga November tahun ini untuk membersihkan tempat tersebut bagi membina sebuah galeri sejarah. Beliau berkata demikian selepas mengadakan lawatan bersama Ketua Menteri Pulau Pinang, Chow Kon Yeo pada Ahad. But now our effort today is to restore the moat. The mark has already been marked. The blue line is the extent where the moat ends in the past. So surrounding the fort, the moat will be reconstructed, restored. And while this work is ongoing, the team led by Professor stumble upon <laughs> two more and uh, one cannon and one mortar yes. which is very significant find especially the mortar and they think that there could be about 30 over cannon still buried around this area and you are stepping on <laughs> cannon <laughs> and the work will have to continue all the way and even moving upwards we do not know Every layer of earth you dig up is a layer of history. Yeah? And I believe the team has already reached the the the, the ground level where they found uh, sandy beach. Sandy beach. Yeah? This is near the beach and they have found the ground level ground zero so that probably you don't have to excavate any further down because you have reached the base that people built upon uh, 200 years ago.